Okay, if you want to understand this moment, you actually need to look at stocks through the prism of one of my best teachers, Marty Zweig. I never met Mr. Mr. Zweig, but I watched him on Fridays when he'd go on Louis Rukeyser's Wall Street Week, and I hung on his every word. I used to say, oh, shut up, other panelists. Let Marty talk. Of course, I was only talking to the TV. Now I'm on TV. He had an unparalleled talent for making sense of the stock market for the commoner, for the beginner, the newbie, for me. So I helped democratize this business by explaining the market's reactions to the Federal Reserve and investors' collective reaction to the tape. Basically, he did what I try to do for you every night, but uh, I'm Zwag, no Zweig, but I am a devoted pupil. What would Zweig say about this moment? I can practically hear his stentorian but low voice saying, don't fight the tape, don't fight the Fed. Yeah, let me spell these two commandments out in more detail. First, don't fight the Fed means that the, you cannot bet against the Federal Reserve chairman who's committed to getting the economy going and therefore the stock market going. Last week, Powell only gave us the bad news. The fellow though he was throwing it in the towel in the recovery like he'd done all he can. He just, now he just had to wait and see. Uh-uh. Marco was in no mood for that wait and see move. And that's why we got crushed. This time, though, Powell goes all in, basically assures us there will be no more back bankruptcies. No more bankruptcies. That means no layoffs from otherwise healthy companies that are short on cash and can't raise money. Now everyone, save sadly small business, can raise money. That's huge. In the Great Depression, we were worried about the banks failing. Then they failed, and things got much worse. In the Great Recession, we were worried about the banks failing, and then they failed, and things got worse. Fed Chief Ben Bernanke stepped up finally and said he wouldn't allow any more banks to collapse. The Fed can print money, meaning they've got unlimited firepower. They just have to decide to use it. This time, Powell didn't wait for everything to fall apart. He moved aggressively to protect the banks. Now he's effectively backstopping their largest clients, too. And that's great for the banks, great for the clients. That is don't fight the Fed. What about Swag's second commandment, don't fight the tape? This one was so hard for me to understand. I mean, what, I had like $10, you know what I mean? When I first heard it, I said, what's the tape? I mean, like scotch tape? My dad sold scotch tape. Anyway, well, no, it's what's going on in the market because of the issues of the day. Right now, there's a lot of green on that tape. Hey, you can see it's actually underneath a lot. You ever see it? That it says like, you know, 3M and, you know, rate rate You get it, right? I mean, I would go down on the floor and do it, but this is a really nice suit. All right, anyway, why does this happen? Because even though COVID, I could do it anyway. I'll just get it cleaned. All right, I'm down here now with the tape. You see me with the tape, right? Okay, because even though COVID cases, see, it's right underneath me. Even though COVID uh, cases are spiking, we got word that if doctors are using dexamethasone, that's a pretty mild steroid that I take, uh, well, I took for a while, I, I switched to another one, they can dramatically lower the mortality rate for the worst, ca- worst cases. The people who need breathing help, off-the-shelf drug that costs almost nothing. I know. When I took it, it was like a five-buck copay job at Walgreens. Suddenly, this virus is a lot less deadly. That certainly influenced the tape. Remember, the tape is what's underneath me here. I'm caressing the tape, okay? I'm caressing, and I'm making the tape feel even better than it did. Then we got that incredible... Where's the Clorox wipes? I mean, who knows what's down there? Anyway, then we got that incredible retail sales number up 17%. Clorox. Up 17%. So even as the Fed is throwing gasoline on the Kingsfords, that's a Clorox product, they're already red hot. And that's how you get a conflagration of money looking for a home, and it finds itself on that tape that I just caressed so lovingly. Not lice. Oh, it's Clorox. Thank you. All right. Now, you see, you can't beat the army of buyers when they come in to love the tape. You can't. It's a, don't fight this thing down here. Now, for the newbies who probably think that there really is a tape underneath me because they know so little and are watching the Davy thing, I'm buying all the cruise stocks. You see the Royal and the Reed, they were all down at the end of the day. And the airline, single digit oil, what's the, you know, they should be buying things like Apple. I know. Buy a percent, buy one share. What is that, the new fractional thing? Uh, it fly, Apple's flying. It was on a buy recommendation that absolutely, and I love the guy. I love the guy. Jim Suva, super guy. But it had nothing new. It didn't matter. And how about the hint of an infrastructure bill on every place? I, I, I have more on that later. Possibility that customers must be returning to previously closed stores. How else do you get that amazing 17% gain? You put it all together and you've got an unassailably bullish tape. There we go. Remember, it's underneath me just in case you can't find it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, baby. Uh, only a tape would take an ah, uh, baby with Clorox, which is the most deadly thing ever. Okay, anyway. That's why we love it. See United Airlines teamed up with Clorox? I'm flying United. 
Boy, my arms are tired. Anyway, it doesn't mean you always have to go with the flow, all right? It doesn't. It doesn't mean you shouldn't make contrarian bets. But when you get this kind of buy, when nearly everything roars and you try to fight it, you're fighting history. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.